In 2002, I was looking for a place on the beach. So my brother called me and said, Santa, come and look this place. If it's what you think is good. So I came here, had a look, and I fell in love. Who could not fell in love for this place? It was magic, it was amazing, but it was difficult. There were the roads, but not in Tarma. It was like sandy. A challenge, and I like challenge. In the beginning, we opened in the old villa inside, and each room was like a different ambience. One was like with stucco veneziano, so Italian. Another one was like Morocco, another one like Spain, another one like Greece. Coming from the movie Mediterraneo that I was watching one day, I was like, beautiful name. So from that name is also the cuisine, because Italian cuisine is my cuisine. But at the same time, there were many restaurants Italian. So I wanted to give a bit of difference, so to give a, a hint of where the Mediterranean Sea is touching. And all the cuisine that we have from Rome to the south of Italy, which is beautiful, with fresh tomato, basilico, mozzarella, olive oil, amazing. From that, we put the tables outside on the beach, and of course, people, they like more. So then we move up everything outside. So slowly, slowly, slowly we start to grow. Thanks to the people who follow us till today, they enjoy our food, I guess. Otherwise, we were not here today. So today, I want to share with you guys pesce in crosta di sale, fish in crosta of salt. A beautiful red snapper, cooked in cross of salt, simple with olive oil, parsley, lemon and a bit of garlic. Let's do it together. I'm Samantha, I'm half Italian and half Somali. I have a place called Mediterraneo on the coast of Tanzania. It's a little piece of paradise complete with its own masai. Yeah. Okay, a couple of masai. I love food and I love to cook. And every week I love to share that love with you. Buon appetito. Another perfect day in paradise. My mornings are never complete without a hug from my kids, an espresso, and the occasional visit from my friend, Captain. Hey, Captain! Buona subui, buona! Buona subui, mambo? Ah, crei, cicala di mare! Mosuri sana, ebu? Ah, safi sana, safi sana! Safi sana! Si, si, no, c'è il nezzo per avere! Una semanini? Gaio gaio. Qua in italiano ti sembra rombo. Rombo. Eh, rombo rombo. Ao alibut qua in gheresa. Eh. In fresh, in gosiache, maschia, musuri sana. Ah, ya baba. Ah, ya. Nascuro. Ah, ya baba. Ah, ya pelec di tuoni, cama cavaita. Ah, ya baba. Ah, Some morning, when my old friend Captain the Fisherman turns up with the catch of the day, the tasted fish gets delivered straight to my kitchen. Now we have the fish for pesce in crosta di sale. In the morning, I often watch the fishermen from the balcony of Mediterranean, and I wonder what the day is like and what interesting stories they have to tell. Today, I wonder no more because we are going to find out first thing. Abarizen? Safi tu? Ah. Mambo? Alhamdulillah. Leo nam nagani samaki. Wapo? Samaki wapo? Eh? Eh. Kawaida na patika samaki gani. Kwa sababu mimi hapo Mediterraneo, hoteli yetu, tunanunua kawaida kwa ba, kwa beach hiyo, kwa bahari hapo. Sasa lakini tunanunua lobosta ni nini? Tunapatikana na nyavu hii. 
Sometimes we have to call the opponent's club. This time it worked for me. And then it started all over again. It's a kind of game for us. This one I got for 27,000. Auction right on our beach. Here in front of Mediterranean, 27,000 auction. A Santeni German. I want to show you. I want to show you the freshness of those calamari. Uh, look how the ice. They are so sparkle, beautiful, so fresh. I am ten in Germany. I Back from our little outing with the fishermen of Da. I got this beautiful red snapper from my friend Captain. The way we're gonna cook together is in crust of salt, which is a very, very simple way to cook and very tasty. And this I want to dedicate to my wife, which she's gonna eat with me later. Let's see what she's gonna think about it. The ingredients for our dish today are, this dish is for two persons. One whole fish, approximately of one kilo. I'm using a red snapper. 2 kilos coarse salt, 6 egg whites, these are uncooked, 2 large cloves of garlic, 1 big lemon or 3 limes, whichever you have at hand, olive oil and parsley for serving. Okay, so what we do now, we take garlic and we chop off a little bit so we can insert later on in, in the fish. And then, uh, oh, it smells mm, so nice. Mm, beautiful. And we take the two lemons. We cut also those in a little bit of pieces. Smells so fresh. I love this lemon. This actually is lime. It's not lemon. That's no mistake. Which is a 
bit, a bit, a bit of more strong taste. After we've done this, we make some inserts to our fish, to our snapper. In which we can put inside a bit of garlic, a bit of lemon, the marination, and then just a cross of salt. Take our fish, we put in our marination, which I did before, which is simply a lemon, black pepper, and salt. Do like this. We take our garlic, we insert these little pieces in our fish. I always been enjoy watching my grandmother and my mother doing this. And I think somehow I hereditate from them and I enjoy doing this. You're creating something that after when you eat, you feel it and you're like, wow, what did I do? The acid in lemon helps to neutralize the fishy smell and complement the delicate taste of the fish. So now it's almost done. And we're going to prepare our salt with the eggs, with a bit of eggs. So the eggs, what it makes? The eggs makes get all together, like a second skin to the fish. Let's do this now. Now we take the eggs, which actually is from our little farm. We don't have a real farm. We have like a little, little, little. So, what we do, we only use the white of the egg, not the whole egg. The yolk, we put on the side. And because we don't want to we can use the yogurt as well later for something else. We don't throw anything here. Place leftover yolks in an airtight container, covered with a thin layer of water, and refrigerate for up to two days. Put the rich, thickening properties to using custard and puddings. We are almost done. Opa! And that's it. So now, we put in here, we mix all together, like when you do pasta, the dough of the pasta, same, same. But in this case, you have big salt and eggs. Rock salt comes from oceans that dries up tens or hundreds of millions of years ago, leaving us their salt which is being compressed and transformed while it's left in the earth crust. So now, the last step, we take our beautiful fish and we just cover up of salt. And don't worry that it's gonna be too salty, no. Because this salt is actually give the right taste. It's amazing how it's gonna be. It's gonna give the right, exactly taste that fish has to be with the right salt on it. So you see, the eggs is gonna make it very compact. And that's it. It's covered, I would say, everywhere. Now we can put in our oven. We just take a little bit of aluminum foil so it doesn't get totally burned. But the salt already protecting the fish by the, by the heat of the oven. We take the aluminum foil. because we don't want our fish to burn it. And we put in our pizza oil. Then, 30, 40 minutes, 40 minutes I would say, and it's ready. 
and we can eat. Ready to eat, ready to taste with my wife and with you at home. And this you can cook also your home and oven at home. Eh? Don't forget. Today we just use this, this oven, but normally you can do it also at home. In a conventional oven, set it to 180 degrees Celsius. Cook for 40 minutes. And that's it. See you later when it's ready. Ciao. Before we remove our fish from the oven, let me remind you the ingredients for today's dish. This dish is for two persons. One whole fish, approximately, of one kilo. I'm using a red snapper. Two kilos coarse salt. Six egg whites. These are uncooked. Two large cloves of garlic. One big lemon or three limes, whichever you have at hand olive oil and parsley for saving. Remember, if you're using your home oven, set it at 180 degrees Celsius and allow the fish to cook for about 40 minutes. And now, let's see our fish in crust of salt. How is it? Oh. Oh, but it's a bit heavy, yeah? And that's it. And now, let's see how it came. Let's see, let's see. As you can see, this became all solid. We remove it. and it's perfectly cooked. Let's go on the table, so I can surprise my wife. Amore, my love. Let's see this red snapper in cross of salt, how it came. Nice. Okay, amore mio. Let's dish up. Mm. So now, this, we finish up with a bit of olive oil. Very simple and tasty. Bit of parsley. And our dish is done. Please, amore mio. Okay, amore mio. Now, let's try this 1865 Sauvignon Blanc from Chile. Very dry, which it goes perfect with our fish and crust of salt. Grazie, amore. This Sauvignon grows at Las Gaviotas a vineyard in Leida, in Chile, with a view out to the sea. And now, we can eat. Let's enjoy it. Salute, amore mio. Buon appetito, my pleasure. Bueno, simple and tasty. To the next time, ciao.